In class, we developed the formulas for simple interest, periodic compound interest, and continuous interest. This is the third in a series of videos looking at the uh, 12 different scenarios that uh, of problems that arise in this situation. In each case, we're going to identify the type of interest that uh, the account is bearing, identify the missing variable, identify the values of each of the given variables, plug that into the uh, uh, correct interest formula, and then algebraically solve for the missing variable. Here's our next problem. How much must be deposited in an account paying 3% annual interest compounded monthly? So here we are compounding monthly. That'll tell us the formula to use and we need to have 500 at the end of six years. This is periodic compound interest, and so this is the appropriate formula. Reading through the problem, we, the known information is that the rate of interest is 3%, uh, which is 0 0.03 as a decimal. Because we're compounding monthly, n will be 12. The uh, final amount, the future value, needs to be 500, t is going to be 6. We're looking to find the present value, the principal, or p. Substituting the known information into the uh, formula, we have this particular equation to have to solve. You can easily see that the exponent here is going to be 60. And if we divide both sides of the equation by this amount, we'll know what p is. That leaves us with the calculator problem. We need to calculate uh, this value. If your calculator allows you to uh, edit the formula as you're writing it, here's how I would suggest creating this formula for your calculator. Begin with the uh, the 500, of course, divided by something. Uh, something that you need to divide by is something raised to a power. The power needs to be 12 times 5. Now back in and, and fill in this amount. That's going to be a 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 12. Okay, the reason that uh, I suggest you do it in that way is that it key always put a left and a right parentheses and then back into the parentheses and fill it in. Uh, whether working with a computer or with a calculator, that makes that easier. Well, it, it makes it so that you can keep track of, of the open and close parentheses. So P is equal to 430.4346, um, but because we need to be sure that we're putting in enough money to grow up to what it needs to be, we need to round up here. So to assure that we have the desired future value, we, we should deposit presently $430.44. Here's our next problem. Because this is periodic compound interest, this is the appropriate formula. Our known information is that our present value is 800, our future value is 900, the interest rate is 5%, and uh, we're compounding quarterly, so n is equal to 4. We want to find out how many years this will take. Substituting the information into the uh, appropriate formula. We have uh, this problem to solve algebraically. The last thing that's being done on the right hand side is multiplying by 800, so we'll divide both sides by 800. Now we have an interesting algebraic problem. We want to, to find this t. We need to somehow be able to get that t by itself, but it's stuck in the exponent. That was a possibly, for many of you, was a new algebra step. 
we need a, some operation that will allow us to get something out of an exponent. Okay, remember the uh, algebra property of logarithms. The log base b, the log of any base of uh, alpha raised to the beta power is going to be beta times the log base b of a. We have a natural log on our calculator. So in particular, the natural log of beta raised to the alpha power is alpha times the natural log of beta. That's the one that we're going to apply. We're going to, because these two things are equal, the natural logarithm of them will be equal and we'll be able to get our hands on that 4t. So we take the natural log of both sides of the equation which allows us to write the right-hand side of the equation with the 4t down on the baseline. Now we're trying to get t by itself and what's happening on the right-hand side, t is being multiplied by four times the natural log of this amount. So let's just divide both sides by four times that logarithm. So now we have the question of developing a calculator or a computer uh, line of code to do this calculation. So we recognize that that's going to be something divided by something. Uh, this part that's on top is going to be the, the natural log of uh, something and that's going to be 900 divided by 800. The part that's in the denominator is going to be four times the natural log of something. That what we're taking the natural log of is one plus 0 0.05 divided by four. Okay, so there's the code. My calculator calculated that value to be 2.37 and so on. Now because we're compounding quarterly, we need to, and we're looking for a future value, we need to round that up to the, to the nearest quarter. So this will be uh, two and a half years. Okay, our final answer is the time two and a half years.